In part one of this presentation, we looked at copyright law and what restrictions there are on using other people's material. Well, in this part, we'll be less negative and look at the resources you can use safely when creating your media. Public domain is a term used to mean material where either the copyright is expired or the author has waived their rights. Some governments, such as the US government, also release a lot of material into the public domain, but do be careful and check this is the case. As we saw in the last part, some people mistakenly believe that anything on the internet is in the public domain, but there's a massive difference between being public domain and simply being available publicly on the internet. Material on the internet is still usually subject to copyright law. Sometimes it's hard to determine exactly what is to public domain. For example, different material expires after different lengths of time, and the law is different in different countries. The table on screen now is the situation in UK law. As you can see, it may take considerable research to find out if the material is genuinely out of copyright. If you're in doubt, it's best not to use the material. Creative Commons is perhaps a more accessible resource with clear guidelines on how it can be used. It's material where the creators have allowed their work to be used by others, provided certain criteria are met. Each piece of work is released with a certain license or combination of licenses, which we will look at in more detail in a moment. It's always important to check the individual licenses on all work to make sure you're using the material correctly. A wide range of materials out there with a Creative Commons license and can include video, audio, music, images and text. It's worth remembering, however, that Creative Commons is not copyright free. All rights remain with the creators who simply allow its use by others as long as the intended criteria are met. So these are the main Creative Commons licenses. A zero license means the creators have waived all rights to it and it can be effectively used as public domain. Attribution is very common and means the suitable credit must be given to the author. It's best to give as much detail as you can and if possible give a link to the source of the material. You'll see an example of how to do this at the end of the video when I credit the pictures I've used in the, in the presentation. It's not legally required to inform the author you've used their work but it's considered good etiquette to do so if possible. It's also worth remembering that material should be correctly cited in academic work, even if the author hasn't asked for an attribution. Non-commercial means you can't make money from the work you're producing using the material. Share alike means that if you use the material in your work, you must release your work under a Creative Commons license. This may not be desirable or appropriate for the work you're producing, so avoid share-alike material if you don't want to do this. Finally, no derivative works means the material can only be distributed as is, that is it can't be altered, remixed or changed. This includes video editing or syncing to music. It's best to avoid altering material in any way if it has this license. So how do we find this material? There are various sites on the internet where material can be found and downloaded. A good start is the creativecommons.org search, which will search through various types of media. The website also gives a lot of information about Creative Commons. Music can be found at a variety of sites, with two of my favourites being CC Mixter and Gemendo. Sound effects can be found at an excellent site called Freesound. You can conduct advanced searches on sites such as Google Images and Flickr, which will filter the results to just Creative Commons images. Compfy is a great site that will search Flickr for you in a really intuitive way and show all the results on screen at once. Open clip art is also good for line drawings and general clip art, and a couple of pages for public domain work. Archive.org has a range of material and there's some great photos on the Flickr Commons. Do read the details of all material carefully, however, to make sure they are genuinely public domain. So on screen now are the credits for the pictures I've used in the presentation, which I've downloaded from Flickr. As you can see, I've given details of the photo and the author, as well as put hyperlinks in for anyone I give this PowerPoint to, which will take them to the photo online and to the licenses so people can see the details of those. I'll also put these links into the description when I upload this video to YouTube. You'll see that all the videos are BY, which means attribution, or SA, which means share alike. Because I've used share alike images, it means I'll have to give my video a Creative Commons license. And finally, here are some links to further information about copyright, including the University of Sheffield's Copyright Hub. Thank you for watching the presentation, and I hope it's been useful.